Hey there, everybody. Parks Owsley here with Invin Global, and I'm joined by Niski, the mid laner for Cloud9. You just lost your turret. It was a, it was crazy. It was terrible, uh, but you still won the game. You guys are 12 and 0 now. You're looking very strong. You're making a, a great name for yourself for a potential MVP number two. Um, but overall, how are you doing? How's the season going for you? Um, I mean, it's been going really great. I think I don't know. We've it just feels kind of surreal, I guess, because. I did. I really didn't think we'd be that good in the like in spring split. You know, I I would believe. I don't know. I thought we'd be like a top team, but not like kind of smashing everyone. Like not even close kind of games. You know, where I don't know. It's just yeah. It's just I'm still surprised. You know. Well, it's been fun to watch. Um, it's kind of nice to have, you know, since Team Liquid wasn't doing great, it's nice that you guys are, are at least keeping our hopes alive for some international tournament stuff. Um, but I don't want to talk too much about League right now. Um, I know we've talked to you recently. Everyone's talking to you, talking about you on the broadcast all the time. Um, I want to talk some about your personal life and uh, how, how you are outside of the game, what makes Niski Niski when he's not on the rift, uh, that type of thing. Um, so I know, first off, it's quite obvious you've, you're an EU mid, but you're an NA mid. Mm -hmm. uh, you've, you've kind of come here a couple different times. Uh, so what has that been like for you, kind of moving back and forth? Uh, do you ever get lonely over here? Do you kind of wish that you could go back home? Uh, how's that been for you? Um, I mean, to be honest, I don't really mind kind of changing from EU to NA. I did it, I think, three times where I was in NA and then EU and then now NA again. So I'm kind of used to it. Also, I think it really helps me that I kind of have friends here. Like before, like when I was in Envy, it was kind of sad a bit because I didn't really know anyone in the LCS, you know, and my teammates were, I mean, I won't say like, they were not really my friends, but they were kind of just my colleagues, I guess, at that time, you know. Um, but yeah, for me, it's been going great, I think. At least for now, with C9, it's been going really great because I'm good friends with Blabber, and then I have Sven now as well. And then, I don't, like, all my teammates are just really nice, and I'm just happy to be in the York. So, yeah, it's been, it's been really great. That's good. And, of course, we, we're in A, so we do import a lot of Europeans. So now, of course, there are a bunch of guys over here for you. Um, do you ever do you ever feel like you miss home? Uh, or is, is there anything here that you can kind of do or like a place in LA you can go to or any experience that's like ah oh, this this is kind of nice it reminds me of when I was younger yeah I mean there's a kebab place called Berlin's I think where it's kind of the food that I eat the most usually when I'm in Europe and they kind of do the same here I mean not really but I mean kind of you know and it just kind of reminds me of like Berlin and then home you know so I think that's the only thing that kind of reminds me them there and then also I think Broken Blade and Closer like they're both Turkish, right? And I'm also Turkish, so kind of seeing them is like kind of being home, like chilling with my friends, kind of, you know? So yeah, having them and then also eating kebab is usually my thing. Yeah, they go to. I'm, I hope it's close enough. Um, yeah, do you, w when you were growing up, I mean, I imagine you didn't expect to be living here, you know, this young at least. Mm -hmm. uh, so what would you, what would you tell little, little Niski before Niski was Niski? I don't know. I mean, it's just, I don't, it's just really weird because I remember first time I went to NA, I was, I think it was for Envy. Yeah, it was for Envy. And like, like I had a trial in Korea. I had to go alone. And I feel like I wasn't scared at that point. But now that I think about it, I feel like I should have been scared. You know, like going to a plane alone, kind of going to a hotel where you boot camp with a, like teammates you don't even know, you know. Like, I was not scared at all for some reason. I have no idea why, you know. But, I don't know. At the end, it paid off. And I feel like, yeah, little Niski has not been scared at all. So, <laughs> that's great, I guess. That is good. Um, what about other people? Because I think, I don't, I don't know if you ever think about it, uh, but you are likely a role model to people playing either in EU or in maybe minor regions mm -hmm. even. Um, and of course, we've had a bunch of Australians or OS players uh, come over recently. Mm -hmm. um, and now that we are starting to import more and other regions are importing, it's kind of cool for a lot of these other people to be like, oh, I could like move to NA or I could move to EU mm -hmm. or wherever. Uh, what would you say to other people who want to do something like that? I mean, I feel like the system we have right now is actually pretty good, I think. Um, 
I feel like if you play in minor leagues in Europe or in Oceania or whatever, like if you're good, then people will actually recognize you. And then you would either get a shot at Academy here or in national leagues in Europe, you know. And for example, LOC right now is, I think, like 30% or 40% rookies, if I'm not wrong, which is really nice, I think, because we kind of need fresh blood to make the competition better, right? So I think it's just been way better than the last years where it's only if you had the contacts that you would get into teams. Now I feel like if you play good, then teams would just try to get you. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that's been really great. Was there anything that you would have done if league didn't work out? What, where would you be right now? I have no idea. <laughs> I was studying tour tourism because I speak like four languages. Oh. And I guess I would have done something with languages maybe or like computer or something. I have no idea. What, which ones do you speak? I speak Turkish. I speak English. Dutch, <laughs> like Belgian Dutch kind uh -huh. of, like Flemish, I think it's called. And then English and Turkish. Wait, you said Turkish. Oh, Spanish. and French. Oh, okay. I was expecting French. All right. Um, <laughs> nice. You want to say anything to your non-English speaking fans? Just no. really quickly. Can you? Yeah, I can. Uh, right. Fr you don't have to. Okay. Do French that. fans first. Okay. Merci de me supporter. Je sais que je je, je tweet pas beaucoup en français, mais ça fait toujours plaisir d'avoir euh, comment dire beaucoup de messages votre part, etc. Donc euh, continuez à me supporter et voilà. And um, and then Turkish fans. Benim nasıl diyeyim? Teşekkür ederim. Um, çok Türkçe konuşmuyorum da ama az konuşuyorum şimdi closer'la ve teşekkür ederim again. <laughs> And then yeah. Nice. I will uh I'm going to have to go I just realized I'm going to have to talk to someone cuz I don't know maybe you could just be cussing everyone out. I would never know. <laughs> I could. Uh I'll trust you. I don't I don't know people. I don't know. I could talk to Zabatin or something but um cool. Well, anything else uh about your life uh that you feel like is unique to you, um, something that maybe like a little Niski fan could be like, oh, you know, I like Niski, and I'm, I don't know, something that they could learn about you that makes you more unique uh, or something that's special to you that maybe you carry around uh, whenever you're like, ah, oh, they, they killed my mid turret, but it's okay. You know, I'm going to go, I have a stuffed animal or something. <laughs> uh, not really. I mean, I think one thing that I think stands out the most about me, I think, is that I'm usually happy. I mean, you, I don't think anyone saw me sad at all. I mean, maybe when we lost in like in finals, for example, you know, but I feel like I'm usually positive, like positive vibes because I feel like you should enjoy life, for example. And yeah, I think if you work really hard, you're going to get anywhere you want in your life. And yeah, that's pretty much it for me. Is there a secret to the positivity? I mean, not really. Just <laughs> I mean, just be nice to people. Uh, enjoy, like enjoy food, you know, enjoy, I mean, sleep well. And then... Take care of your family, you know, your mom and dad, and yeah, that's it. That makes a lot of sense. Um, well, thank you so much, and thank you all for watching. Uh, for more Invent Global content, please like and subscribe below, and we'll catch you next time.